All right. <clears throat> Can you guys hear me? Yep. Awesome. Thanks for Chandra to getting us out of that foot coma. So thank you, Chandra. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, this one. This one. Sorry. So we have next two speakers who are great friend of mine. Uh, one is Krishna, who is a CEO of Devo. He'll come first. Devo stands for Data in Wisdom Out, and he will present. Uh, Krishna, are you there? He'll present us the product and a demo that he is about to show to us. We'll, we'll take a look at. And then the second speaker is Jody Bhagat, great friend of mine who is in the banking industry, and he'll be our second presenter for the next 25 minutes. Krishna, go ahead. Thank you. A very good afternoon uh, to all of you. Thank you for uh, being in this session. So the title of the presentation is Aligning Business Decisions and Strategy with the Duo Intelligent Advisor. Very confusing title, isn't it, right? You know, and even I get confused all the time. So I'll try and do my best to help you understand what are we trying to attempt in the space? What is the business value that we are really trying to help with several companies that we work with uh, today? So. Going into the presentation, what I'd like to show you before I get started about the product is, if you look at the business community in any enterprise, whether you're looking at uh, financial services, retail, insurance, investment banking, this is how most business users are reacting today, right? So they start consuming data from various different sources. Let's say this is an operational system, they're looking at some operational reports, versus you know, they slowly start consuming some reports from their data warehouse, which are your beautiful BI dashboards or Tableau visualizations or whatever the case is, right? And from there, you, know, you also see some level of data science initiatives, right? Whether people are trying to attempt some level of machine learning or building some forecast models or whatever the case is. So end of the day, as they start building all of this different aspects around you know, reporting, BI, or uh, any kind of analytics, right? They are called insights, right? Now, the biggest question is, how are they consuming these insights? What does it mean to them in their day-to-day -day business activity, you know? What does it tell them? What next? Does it mean anything to the business? So, when you look at the reality, when you look at the business community, they are really looking at these piles of reports, dashboards, they're consuming these insights, but what are they doing with it? Are they really going towards the last mile, right? So when you look at the realistic uh, situations in most enterprises, the first big challenge is competing uh, decisions, right? They're always uh, looking at risk, compliance, you know, maybe some cross-sell, upsell, or whatever the case is. You know, there's so many different areas of decisions they all have to look at end of the day. So one of the biggest problems that we are really trying to solve is how can we really empower the business community with a process where you're able to really put those insights into context and help them with their decision-making process. So Devo is all about you know, how can it really start helping the business community with their decision-making process. So at a high level, you can think of it as an intelligent advisor, which means now the whole idea of how can a machine augment the human with this decision-making process, or how can a machine really help the user control his bias as well, right? So that is the whole philosophy behind Devo. At a very high level, Devo really identifies the business opportunity. So we work on this notion of opportunity. So any business problem that we want to solve comes into the framework as an opportunity, and then it continuously starts sensing what that opportunity means to the business and also helps the business community you know, to uh, you know, come up with a strategy and the impact of their decision as well. So that is what the platform is all about at a very high level. Now, <clears throat> let us look at how Duo can start helping the business community by consuming those business problems. So here is how it starts uh, helping the business community. So when you look at consolidating all of those insights, or when you look at synthesizing all those different insights, now it can really start putting some business sense to it. So here in this very simple example, it is telling the business community that 
hey, you know what, you have to uh, think about high AR expo exposure. There are some segments that are being affected. Now, this is how you can start looking at it, right? This is how the system can start uh, uh, the business community to identify what the problem is. And now, not only it can help you with identifying what the problem is, it continuously works behind the scenes, also helping the, uh, uh, helping the users uh, with the recommended strategies or how can they really uh, go about uh, a certain decision or can they also visualize the impact of a certain decision. So that's what the platform does enable the community with. Now, when we talk about interactive strategies, you know, is there a way that the business can also uh, visualize the impact of a decision, which means now, what if I reacted in a certain way? What is the likely outcome of that exercise? Versus, what if I did not react? What is the likely outcome of that exercise? So that is what we really mean by interactive strategies. Now, moving along. So this is one uh, classic use case that we are trying to solve uh, within a major uh, financial institution in New York. One of their key challenges is high AR exposure. When they look at uh, segments for the upcoming seasons, they know that certain uh, segments are likely to be delinquent. And now, you as a business, how do you go about it, right? So this is what they're doing today, right? So they have a team of analysts you know, uh, in India versus people in New York. They are looking at piles of reports you know, coming from Tableau, MicroStrategy, or different sources of uh, uh, reporting, and now these guys are understanding the customer trends, or they're looking at the customer profiles, they're looking at demographics. And now, after four weeks now, it goes to the next step, really going to the portfolio manager. Now it is up to him to look at all the different aspects around trends and make a call on, okay, this is my credit portfolio decision now, right? So when you look at the timeline associated or the intensive human process involved in making a certain decision, that is way too long, right? But what if, what if you teach that to a machine? Now, the machine cannot come back and say, hey, this segment is likely to be delinquent, and here is how you can address it, right? So that is the whole idea behind uh, Devo as a platform now. <clears throat> so the success story is all about, you know, we, we really help them maximize uh, their productivity, really. You know, we help them with an efficient process, really cutting down this traditional process of looking at uh, you know, reports or dashboards and start making sense out of it and then reacting to a certain business aspect. So that is the real business value. And now as an outcome, they are able to really do this on a continuous basis. They are now understanding that, okay, if a certain segment is affected and they're likely to be delinquent, now the business strategy is, do I approve new accounts? That way it, it makes more business sense for me is the kind of strategy that they're really playing now. So this is really how we are trying to solve one problem at a time. Let me show you a quick demo of the platform. That way you can also connect some of the dots that I tried to explain here. So this is a demo site. Uh, it's all uh, you know, mocked up data. So just to give you a feel for how the system may work. Now, since the machine understands the human behavior, right? It understands how you've been interacting with the machine or what are some of your past decisions, you know? How did uh, it understand? How did you react to a certain situation? So it starts collecting some insights that it thought are very beneficial to the user. So if you thought a certain insight is not appropriate for your business function, right? You could literally teach it to the machine and say, you know what, I'm not interested in this, right? So that is how you can really think about making more sense out of your day-to-day -day exercise. Now, since, uh, since it's, a, it's an intelligent advisor, you could talk to it, you could type to it. Let me show you a quick example you know, on how you can. I could start my journey with something very simple. We opened 1,000 new accounts this month, out of which 300 were opened at the retail branch. To my analysis, you can double the number of new accounts and bring $100 K in deposits by running a marketing campaign on a digital channel and in the branch. 
Now, since since it understands the context, right? It understands the intent behind the conversation. So it also tries to give you some contextual insights that are more beneficial for your exercise. So in this case, it is telling, okay, accounts opened by you know marketing campaigns. Does it make sense to you? So this is how you can start interacting with a machine like Devo to really make sense of your business. So the platform at a high level has three different personas. You know, uh, the first persona is called Ask, which is what what, what you're seeing. But the real power of the platform comes with uh, uh, a persona called Decide. So let me play a quick video for you to get a feel for the platform, and then uh, more than happy to take any questions too. Uh. Thank you all. Uh, this is what I meant by you know coming up with a concrete, actionable plan coming out of uh, you know all these different insights that we start accumulating over a course of time. That said, uh, you know I have a couple more slides uh, you know that I want to show you uh, before we uh, before we end. <coughs> so. Uh, when it comes to financial services, uh, as we speak, uh, we are working on some very interesting use cases around KYC onboarding or KYC monitoring. Uh, you know, risk compliance and regulations is an area that uh, we think uh, there is a lot of potential for a machine to really reduce that cognitive load of a human uh, versus you know some opportunities across cross cell, upsell, and so forth. Otherwise, uh, I don't have anything else uh, to discuss today. Really appreciate your patience and time. Thank you all today for attending my session today. Thank you.